Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about understanding elementary shapes and the topics we are going to discuss in this video is measuring an angle. So here we will discuss how to measure an angle. An angle is measured in degree and one complete revolution. Okay. That is divided into 360 equal parts. So each part is one degree. Okay. Complete angle means this is the complete angle. If it is a point and if we measure the angle okay around that we will get it is a 360 degree which is known as complete angle okay so here 360 degree is divided into 360 equal part then we can say that each part is of one degree or it can be read as 360 degree we can measure it using an instrument that is known as protractor we can measure, measure an angle with the help of protractor so here we will discuss about the protractor. It is a curve face and which is divided into 180 equal parts. Okay. A protractor is divided into 180 equal parts. It start from 0 degree to 180 degree from left side to right side and vice versa means right side to sorry left side to right side. Okay. Look at here. So here is an example of protractor. So there are two scale are there. One is inner scale. Okay, we we'll start from right side. Look at here. Here is the inner scale. It starts from 0 and move towards left side to 180 degree. Okay. And similarly, another scale is outer scale. Okay. <coughs> outer scale start from left side. Okay, look at here. Here it is 0 degree. And in the same way it goes on increasing 10, 20, 30, 40. In this wheel, it is reached at some 180 degree. Okay. So there are two scale one is inner scale start from left side as a right side and goes to left side and outer scale start from left side and goes to right side and there is a line from which we have to measure and that line is known as baseline okay this is the baseline of the protractor clear this is the baseline or you can say that line has started from 0 degree or 180 degree that is the baseline and there is a fixed point from which we have to measure the degree and that is known as center of the protractor this fixed point o is the center of the protractor okay so this is the protractor center baseline outer scale and inner scale clear you have to remember all this to measure an angle next we'll discuss how to measure an angle by using the protractor so first step is place the protractor okay on the angle in such a way that the midpoint of the protractor that is the center of the protractor come on the vertex B of the angle look at here suppose this is the angle this line is the angle ABC this is the angle so we have to place the protractor in such a way that this center okay center of the protractor coincide with the angle of the okay middle midpoint okay vertex of the angle here B is the vertex so you have to place the center and vertex of the angle which should be coincides and second thing is second thing is adjust it so that the BC line okay come on the straight line of the protractor that is BC line coincide with baseline of the protractor next point is read the scale start with 0 degree okay there are two types of scales which as we have already discussed inner scale and outer scales. So if you are measuring from right side you have to use inner scale. If you are measuring from left side you have to use outer scale. So as we are measuring from right side you have to use inner scale that is start from 0 degree okay which should be coincide with BC line clear. Next point is the point where AB okay comes in the protractor is in the degree is measure as the uh, that is the measure of the angle okay that degree is the measure of the angle look at here and that angle is 72 degree clear so look at the this one first step is we have to draw an angle uh, put the protractor above that one such that the vertex of the angle and midpoint that is the center of the protractor coincide to each other second thing baseline of the protractor and this line BC line coincide with each other so that this 0 degree okay 0 degree fall on the BC line next thing is 
another line is AB we have to check that where it is falling okay so it is just after as we are measuring from 0 degree that is the inner scale so it is after 70 to uh, 70 degree but less in uh, less than 80 degree so we can say that it is coincide on the second second line of the after the 70 degree so we can say that it is 72 degree okay in this way you have to measure the any angle by using the protractor that's all thank you